are really, really off. Will we be commuting to work on flying bicycles, on air-conditioned highways, or will we be stuck in our homes hiding because antibiotics have stopped working? Will cancer be cured? Will the wonder of material plastic disappear? Will there be internet on Mars? Well, those are many questions to be answered. So let's look at some of the predictions on how the future is going to be like. Have you ever pondered about how the future is going to be like? The future of the future? I, Khadija, bring to you a talk where I present the speculation of the near future. The 21st century is the age of rapid technological progress and we are advancing at a mind-blowing rate. So what will our world look like by 2030? It's only a bit more than eight years from now, but I guarantee you that in eight years, it will be really exciting. I want to remind you these are not only my predictions, but also famous scientists like Stephen Hawking, etc. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Solar panels will be able to absorb much more sunlight beating fossil fuels in energy output and becoming the world's most. You'll be able to have a virtual tour in a hotel before booking a room in it. Or how about taking a good look at 3D models at a store before adding them to your cart? The problem of traffic jams will finally be solved with the growing demand for driverless and flying cars, which I'm very excited for. Human factor will decrease dramatically. Gas leak fuel will become a fading memory in the future. Hydrogen and electric powered gas, uh, electric powered vehicles will push the gas powered ones further and further out of the market. The Internet of Things, or IoT for short form, will be omnipresent. Smart homes, smart offices, and what not, whole smart buildings. Literally everything will be connected to everything else by only closed internal networks. The internet will be put in our contact lenses, which will help us a lot. And let me give you a situation. In present, if someone comes to you and asks you or tells you something in a language you're not aware of, you cannot reply to that person or him or her. But in the future, you will be able to through the contact lenses. Your contact lenses will be able to translate that language into English, which will help you understand it. Several large companies like SpaceX, Google, and Facebook are already working on a project together, which will allow internet access to everyone on the globe at speeds over one megabit per second. What about artists? Artists will have to think of something, just think and they, it will materialize in front of their eyes because of virtual reality and the 3D printer would print it out. With blockchain becoming commonplace, blockchain will become the preferred method of transferring valuable assets and money from people to organizations. Genetic modification is very popular. So genetic modification and modified crops will be take, will be growing indoors. Of course, we won't be able to go to the past or teleport, but the concept of teleporting itself will become more real either way. 5G mobile internet connection will become a common thing for most technologically advanced countries and cities. No more lecturing the soils and oceans, we will be making a huge step towards a greener planet. Robots will take over the most menial jobs over the market, which will make humans to turn their attention towards more intellectual tasks, like teaching, for instance. Entertainment will become even more diverse with the growth in popularity of space tourism. One of the most famous predictions of Stephen Hawking is AI. He described AI as a genie out of a lamp. He, fear, he said that, I fear that in 100 years, AI will replace humans altogether. The days will get longer. I don't mean like in summer solstice, where it just feels longer because there's more sunlight. 
but I mean literally longer. Granted, you need to live a long, long life to experience that, as we're only gaining 1.7 milliseconds per 100 years. Engineers at Samsung are hard at work to find to make a pair of contact lenses that you can check your email with. This in, you can even go check your favorite websites without lifting a finger. Well, that would suggest we'd be pretty lazy. Next up is gene editing. Have you ever heard about designing babies? Well, that's a bit scary as well as real. With the discovery of stem cells in 2016, we can now edit genetics. What are stem cells, you may ask? Stem cells are cells which can change into any type of cell. There are many types of stem cells, but we won't go into as much detail. So this would suggest that we can edit genetics, meaning we can make our babies very smart, extremely smart, you're correct. We can also design them the way we like, like if we want blue eyes, green eyes, etc. Scientists in China have already tested this by uh, making babies with blue eyes. Amazon is already launching a drone delivery. Well, that would suggest that we'd be having drones flying to our homes in the near future. You're correct. Mars will get rings like Saturn. How? Let me explain. The moon Phobos of Mars is coming closer and closer to the planet's surface. If it does not crash into the planet's surface, it will break into tiny bits of dust, which will continue to orbit the planet. Pretty cool, right? Pills will be able to detect cancer. Google, Google's X Lab announced in 2014 they are trying to work on a pill which can send microscopic particles into your bloodstream, capable of identifying cancer and even future heart attacks long before they become deadly. Nanobots will be injected into your bloodstream. In the near future, we'll have nanobots streaming inside our body for preventing us from getting sick and even transmitting our thoughts to a wireless cloud. These nanobots will be charging inside of us on a molecular level, which will prevent our biological system and will ensure that we have a good and long life. Driving yourself will be considered passe and considered unsafe. Robotic earthworms will gobble up our garbage this would suggest that we'll be making a large step towards a greener planet. Worried about sun damage or skin cancer? We'll soon have bathroom mirrors that will be able to connect to our to internet to connect to our dermatologist. It will be able to inspect your mole with high resolution cameras and LED displays. The revolution of stem cells to humans has benefited a lot. Trust me, first we can edit genetics with stem cells and now with this discovery, we can also regrow a limb and we can also slow down the aging process. Many celebrities are using stem cell transplant to slow down their age, aging process. Your every move will be, will be tracked by dust spiders. Well, that's a bit scary and a bit I'm just because I want my privacy. We need to leave the Earth. The world famous physicist and cosmologist Stephen Hawking isn't very hopeful about our future. Thanks to dangers like climate change, population growth, epidemics, pandemics, and direct hits by asteroids. He fears that in the next hundred years, we need to leave the Earth. Sorry, every prediction about the future cannot be rosy. I would like to end my speech with a very important question that I would love if you ponder about it. So, how do you imagine the next generation experiencing the new future? The future of the future. Thank you, and I hope you have a nice day.